All right, hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'll be showing you guys how to scrape all this information from Yahoo Finance under the stats tab. And we're gonna be using Arvest. So I want to collect all this information and store it so I could have a stock filter that we can use later. So I'm gonna copy this link. And I'm gonna run it as I go. So I'll assign a ticker. So I'm going to build a function called getFin, and all we're going to pass in is the ticker. I'm going to store the URL, and I'm going to do paste zero. I'm going to paste the link here. I'm going to replace Apple with ticker. I'm going to add quotations right before ticker and after. Same thing for this. So this is going to be our URL. I will then use read HTML, pass in the URL, and then just run these lines. Let's go back to Yahoo Finance. And then all you're going to have to do is just highlight a section and click inspect and then you should get a page similar to this so if you kind of hover your mouse over these it'll highlight sections of the actual page so what I focused on were the arrows that point down so I was able to grab the location by kind of following each down arrow until I got to where the data was actually stored in tables so here I'm going to store the location of where the tables are at so I'm going to pass in A then I'll do HTML nodes. I'm going to look for the section. And then I'll do pipes, HTML nodes, search for div, pass in the pipes. I want to grab table six, do HTML nodes, and look for the table. So here, if we run this, Let's go to our console. So if we look at table, we get a bunch of table classes and each and one of these is where each section of that page is actually stored in. So I'm gonna go through the list and I'm gonna store the first table, which is value measures by running table, pipes, that'll be the first item pipes again. I want to extract the HTML table. And then I'm going to return a data frame. So if we run this and take a look at value measures, we get the very first table, which is valuation measures. So it's broken down into sections and we have a total of 10. So it'll go value measures, stock price history, share stats, dividends, fiscal year, and so on. So I'll repeat the process for the rest of the tables by just copying this. I'll do two, and this will be stock price history. So I'll copy this again. The next section is share stats. Copy this again. Change this to four. This will be dividend and splits. Section five is fiscal year. So I'll do six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. So for number six will be our profitability table. Table seven is 
management efficiency. The following table will be the income statement. Then it'll be balance sheet. And lastly, it'll be cash flow. So I'll go ahead and run all of these. So for tables two through 10, they all have two columns. What I'll do is I'll R bind all of these and then I'll return it as group along with value measures. So here I'm gonna write info, R bind. So I'll do stock price history, share stats, tips and splits, fiscal year, Profitability, management efficiency, the income statement, balance sheet, and lastly, cash flow. So I'll go ahead and R bind this. We can take a look at info one. So it's nicely grouped. We have 50 rows and just two columns. And here we have all the information from that Yahoo page. So then I'll just return a list by grouping info one and value measures. And that's pretty much it. All right, so now we can run our function. So here I'll test it out by running get fin. We'll do Google. I'm going to run that line. So we can extract the first table by running temp and then one. Table two, we'll do temp two. So we can look at table one. So here's that two column data frame. They return 50 observations. And then we could take a look at table two. And here are the value measures. And then you can store these in a database or just keep them stored locally. And then we could use these as stock filters. So that's it for this video, guys. I hope it helps. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.